This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group, and we've seen a little bit of a market consolidation today after five days of gains here. See how we end up, but it you know, looks like we're going to be lower across the board except for the small cap space and the Russell. But S&Ps, the E-minis, all lower today. But again, very muted action on, on some market consolidation. Now, we did have news today. We had Powell testimony. We had some economic numbers this morning, actually jobless claim number that, that came out lowest since 1969. So economic data has been pretty good. We've had some mediocre to positive earnings reports overall. Uh, this just could be a little bit of a lull in the marketplace right now. We'll see what happens. Volatility is up a little bit, but not that big of a sell-off. But again, five-day rally is uh, in jeopardy at this point. Yesterday in the ES options here at the CME, about 400,000 contracts traded, about 66% of them were puts. The leading option gainers volume-wise yesterday, these were all end of month, end of week three July options, the 2825 strike calls, 7,000 of those traded. The 2510 put down below, about 6,000 of those traded. And also the 2775 put, about 6,000 of those traded. So those were the option leaders on a, on a somewhat slow day in the option complex here. For the expected moves for end of day tomorrow is about $12 in the ES and about $30 out to next Friday. Now let's talk about the big gainer here, Bitcoin. Unbelievable rally has continued since last week. And why are we seeing this rally? Well, we're trading about 7,500 here at CME Futures, Bitcoin Futures, and it's on really, really exceptionally high volume. In fact, we have not seen volume like this in many, many months, and that's a great thing for this space here. We've come up through not only 6,000, 6,500, but 7,000. The next major resistance points is actually up at about 7,800. Now, why have we seen this rally all of a sudden off of what just a week or 10 days ago seemed to be you know, a sub 6,000 Bitcoin number? Well, it could be all the positive news that is now actually coming out for the headline risk, meaning there could be an ETF on the horizon. We've seen some positive comments coming out of the SEC and positive comments just kind of across the board here and the market really reacting positively to that. Technically, we're seeing higher highs and higher lows, which could push the bulls even to higher prices here. This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.